Ruto is not a leader. He's a mendacious kleptomaniac who has joined Han and is currently in cohorts with a rapacious old conman. Raila is the epitome of selfishness, traitor by excellence, betrayer. And for a very long time, we've revered him as a statesman, but what we have come to realize is Raila is no different than the political class that we are against. And having for a very long time uh, worn the cloak or veneer of a reformist, you know, and, and uh, someone who is pro-democracy. Now, I would like to tell the Gen Z's, and like I've mentioned, uh, the most paramount thing we can do is have a leader. If we look at the uh, French Revolution that everyone alludes to, we had uh, leaders like uh, Maserat, um, we had leaders like Robespierre. What we have so far are mobilizers, some of course who are commercialized activists, you know, who sell their services to the highest bid and of course influences. And as much as they are uh, important and pa uh, pertinent in this movement, in my own luminary way, I was suggesting the Mbakasi East Babu Oweno to be the leader of Gen Z. He's young, he's charismatic, he's educated, he's eloquent, he's brilliant, he understands and gels with the needs of the people and is not really for the, the pro system. So that in the future, and of course, like I keep insisting, we cannot relent in the quest for change given the kind of leaders that we, we now have, even the ones that have joined government. We might not be rudderless, but we are directionless. And that's exactly why we need a leader. And this is Food for Thought. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, share. Until next time, keep it unapologetically our call. Thank you.